Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Happy Sunday to you. Hope, hopefully everyone's doing well, enjoying this beautiful weather. It's a little bit warm today, right in the Northeast, a little bit warm, but hey, it is what it is. At least it's not raining, so I'm happy about that. Um, me personally, I had to change it up a little bit. Well, I guess not really, but I went back out on the golf course again, and today was absolutely horrible. Everything, the driving, the irons, the wedge, the putting, literally nothing came together. Zero. Zero, zero, zero. But hey, that's why you love the game, right? I did actually have one really good shot. So like everything, like they say, there's always a reason that kind of brings you back on the golf course. And that shot was literally the only thing that will make me ever want to go back to golf. So I guess I'll be back out there next weekend. But hey, it is what it is, right? That's life. Um, so today, what are we reviewing? We are reviewing Old Tub. Let me let you guys see that, right? So Old Tub, there's a the front, there's the back. Many of you know Old Tub from... You know, historically, it used to come in the small 375 milliliter bottles, but going forward, Jim Beam is producing it uh, again annually as like a, it's like a limited edition, if you will, and it's in the full 750 milliliter bottle, right? So that's the uh, the thing with it, right? So a Jim Beam product, it is bottled in bond. So obviously that means the normal, you know, bottled in bond stands for age four years, at least four years in a government controlled warehouse. Um, and coming in at a hundred proof, all right? So bottle and bottle, made by Jim Bean. So you know you can look back for previous episodes, link above for let's think um, Knob Creek. So Jim Bean makes Knob Creek. It's one of their sub brands. They make uh, Maker's Mark. Um, I mean, gosh, they make so many different bourbons uh, and whiskeys as a whole, right? But Jim Bean's obviously been doing a really good job for many years, and then also like Basil Hayden's as well. So they make a lot of different bourbons. So this is one that kind of really kind of goes back, if you think about it, really truly old school, right? This is one of the oldest brands I think that they actually have. And um, Fred No, the master distiller of uh, Jim Bean, his family has been doing bourbon or really making bourbon for over 140 years, right? Seventh generation making bourbon. That's a lot of bourbon, boy. A lot of good bourbon, I bet, as well. So, um, you know, really good, cool story in terms of, you know, the oldest brand that Jim Bean, according to, like, release their family and uh just you know really neat that this is now a new limited edition so when you think about price standpoint i got the, well msrp is 23 dollars. i got it for 23 dollars. actually on the dot so that's msrp i haven't really seen it marked up too much i saw it at a couple different places around like 30 40 dollars. i was a little bit of a cheapskate i waited until i actually found it at 23 and i ended up buying it at 23 um but that's kind of a little bit in terms of you know like hunting for it looking for it I found it, again, you guys know I live in the Northeast, like in the Delaware, Maryland area, and I found it at least four different stores, and they only range anywhere from like 23 up to like $35. And again, I went for the $23 option. So that's that. So I will say, I've tasted Jim, I'm sorry, Old Tub rather. I've tasted Old Tub back when it was at the 375 milliliter bottle, right? The smaller bottle, right? So I hope this new version limited edition it has the same great quality i hope that's my hope um the last thing i'll say about o tub is that so this one as you can see right on the front it has it has the unfiltered right see them bottom there unfiltered so what unfiltered means is that truly when the bourbon is made uh typically if it goes through like a chill filtration process um normally it's going through a process where it would actually remove a lot of like the fatty acids and so forth right um that's for typical most well i should say most but a lot of people have that a lot of bourbon makers but with this product um it does not have the chill filter process right so it's unfiltered so in theory it's not removing all those fatty acids so it should produce typically a more robust a more vibrant flavor we hope that is the case so we shall see all right I didn't have any uh, bourbon on the golf course today, so I'm looking forward to some good bourbon right now. I hope this is good bourbon. I don't know. Again, let's pour this. I want a nice size pour because it's been a long day. And damn it, I deserve it. <laughs> All right. Let's first look at the color real quick. Nice color. It's actually really light, actually. Right? It's, yeah, it's pretty light. It's like a... Um, like a, almost like an almond brown, just very light actually. So not very deep. If I was thinking from a char standpoint, more than likely this is probably like a, a three on the char. Very light, almost like a golden brown actually. So, okay. Let's give a little 
a little swig, a little swirl there. There we go. All right, not bad. Let's get into the nose a little bit, folks. Mmm. So, what stands out to me, tons of sweetness, tons of, mm, tons of honey, very light caramel, but tons of honey, tons of like fruit also, right? I'm thinking more like some berries, some raspberries, a little bit of blackberries kind of mixed in there as well. A little bit of oak, but not a lot. All right, so very fruity, tons of vanilla. I'm sorry, a little bit of vanilla, tons of honey, and a little bit of oak. Mm, okay, nice. Not bad. All right, well, we'll see. Hopefully it uh, goes down well. Cheers, my friends. Mm. Wow. That's actually really nice. Hmm. Really nice, actually. So I will say everything transfers from the nose to the palate. This is very honey and vanilla forward with a good, a good bit of oak as well, right? And that finish from a palate standpoint is still actually going down. Actually, this is actually not bad. Get a little bit more. Mm, tons of honey. Wow. The two things that stand out, first and foremost, all honey. Mm, a lot of oak, right? Because it's unfiltered, so a lot of oak. Very oak forward. A nice, decent finish. Not super long, but decent finish. And the fruit does come through. Not as much. More on the, I was actually wrong from the nose standpoint. More on the apple pear on the finish than it is in the nose. The nose, I got more like berries. But on the uh, actual uh, actual uh, finishing it, the, the sipping part, um, more apple pear. So the fruit kind of almost changed, if you will, from the from the nose to the palate. That was interesting. So again, you guys know me, right? I'm an honest judge. I'm going to tell you straight up: Is this a good product, or is it one eh, leave on a shelf? Judgment is in. This is a buy. Honestly, I mean, at twenty three dollars, it's actually a damn good product, right? Tons of honey tons of oak a little bit of fruit that changes up a little bit right started off with a little bit of the berries and finished with the apple and the pears that's actually a phenomenal bourbon now what i will say is is definitely not one that um i probably wouldn't pay more than like 35 dollars for this right uh, i paid 23 and that was a good deal i probably would pay up to maybe even 30 35 it's actually really nice and light now i will say because i like to keep it real for my friends that are out there that are i call it hardcore barrel proof bourbon guys and gals if you are a barrel proof meaning that you like the high 120 125 130 that stag junior kind of uh hit you with the flavor profile this is not for you but if you want something that's nice and smooth with a little bit of a kick as well at the, at the finish this is some damn good bourbon not bad so jim beam shout out to you guys I'm proud of you. Nice job. Well, folks, as always, thank you for watching today's video. If you haven't done uh, thus, uh, thus far, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Peace. See ya.